Hey everyone, today marks my first official hard water video of the season. I'm hiking into a brook trout lake and I'm traveling very light. I'm only bringing along the items I can carry on me. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this adventure, but it's a lot snowier than I anticipated. So hopefully that doesn't impact my abilities to film. But uh, anyways, I'm just gonna get my gear packed up, show you guys what I'm bringing and make my way into the lake. Alrighty, so here's the haul that I'm bringing with me. I've got a bucket with my jaw jackers, worms, wool covers, scoop, a bunch of other stuff in there. Backpack with my fishing rods, tackle, camera gear, food, water, tripod. I'm running the new Strikemaster 24 volt lithium auger, which is going to be appreciated today with how light it is on the way in. And of course, I've got a spud to check the ice, so I'm just going to load all of this up and uh, make my way in. <sighs> just stopping for a breather. I pack light, but I still brought way too much stuff. I uh, just set everything down here for a sec. And I'm getting closer to my destination. Thankfully. <laughs> Alright, I've made it to the lake and I have good news times too. So first of all, it's not snowing as much now, which makes it a lot easier for filming. And secondly, I don't think anyone else is here, so I think I have the lake to myself, which is great news. Um, I am just going to get my ice fix on and spud my way out. Uh, I am fishing alone today. Safety is always, always important on the ice, no matter how much experience you have. So I'm going to be checking the ice as I walk out just to make sure that it's safe to walk on and I don't go through. And then I will bring all my gear out. So I'm just going to put on my uh, chesty and uh, make my way up. Alright, so as mentioned, I'm wearing my ice picks and I'm spudding my way out. I did scout this lake a few days ago, so I already knew how much ice was here. But considering I'm out by myself, I'm not taking any chances. So I'm spudding ahead of where I walk, just to ensure the ice is enough to hold me. All right, so now I'm going to grab the rest of my gear and I'm gonna follow that same exact path back. One thing I would highly suggest is wearing cleats. I uh, didn't put mine on yet, but I do have them. But we just got a bit of snow on top and it's nice black ice underneath. But it's very slippery. All right, I'm putting these bad boys on so I don't slip on my way back out. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to start with setting this one up here with just a small jig head and a worm on my jaw jacker. So this is a set line and what happens when I get a bite, it's going to release the tension on the rod tip and set the hook for me. So I picked this hole here because there's a little bit of leads down there. Whereas the other one's just kind of right on top of that beaver dam. So. Okay, so that's set. Just gonna put this whole cover on. 
keep the light down and keep the hole from freezing as much. So one thing I'm doing here is getting a bucket of water ready. So in the event I catch a fish, I can pop it in the bucket for a moment, keep it wet while I get the camera ready. fishing a completely different style today. Um, I have set lines in the past, but usually I set a line and then I jig a line. But today I have set up both of my lines and I'm sitting here on shore so that I'm not making any sound on the ice. I have set up, um, you know, I drilled a bunch of holes and I set one up right by the beaver dam because I see some, you know, wood in the water there. And I think that that would provide some good structure for the type of, uh, food that trout are feeding on, so bugs and, and stuff like that. Um, I set my other line up where I saw a bit of weeds on bottom, but both of my lines are probably in like two to three feet of water, so not very deep at all. And uh, I'm just chilling here on shore, drinking some tea and uh, watching my lines. Uh, these jaw jackers have been super cool. Uh, we picked a, a few up last year. This year added the jigging jaw jacker, which adds a bit of movement to, uh, to your bait. So I've got that one set up by the beaver dam. And then I have a still line a little further over in the weeds. But this should be interesting. I'm not used to uh, just sitting and watching like this, but um, I'm hoping that it pays off today. It is a nice day. It's a little windy. Got the whole lake to myself and uh, hopefully I can catch some beautiful fish to show you guys. So stay tuned. The waiting is the hardest part. <laughs> Just, uh, I can't sit still very long. So I'm walking around a little bit on shore here, looking around, enjoying the view. Keep an eye on the rods. All in all, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> so my rod fired off, but I see my worm sitting on bottom, so I'm not sure what happened there. activity to report yet. Um, I moved my one line a few feet. Um, it's not much deeper, maybe three or four feet. So it's pretty windy. I'm chilly. I'm just doing jumping jacks every now and then to stay warm and drinking lots of tea. But uh, I'm hanging in there, hoping for some activity, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. So I've got a little over an hour before I need to start making my way back. So, come on fish, please bite. driving home last night I was thinking to myself dang did not catch a fish wasn't a very exciting day did not get a video 
And then I started thinking more about it and, you know, sometimes I receive comments from people saying things like, oh, it must be nice to be catching fish all the time and fishing all the time. And the reality of it is that it's not always a home run. Sometimes I go out there and I don't catch a fish. And if you're open to it, you always learn something. And, you know, I, I love that whole process of going out there and figuring it out or trying to figure it out. And I am not done on that lake. Um, and I'm not done with brook trout. I am on a mission this year. Normally I start my season off targeting panfish and walleye on familiar waters. But this year I decided to challenge myself and I am going off the beaten path to waters where I know there's not as many fish, but there is a greater chance that when I do catch a fish, that it could be a PB. And that's the mission I'm on. So it's not easy, you know, um, dragging all the gear in, putting the time in, and then on top of that filming. So I just wanted to share my experience because it happens to everyone and it happens to me too. So if you watched it this far, thank you. Um, if you have any questions or comments, I always love chatting with you guys in the comments below. And if you have any brook trout advice, I'd definitely love to hear from you because, you know, I am learning too and I love that learning process. So again, thank you for watching and uh, I look forward to continuing on this mission and I'll see you in the next video.